let's talk about the best food or foods for your eyes. Now, one of the most important structures in your eye is called the retina, okay? Now, the retina is optical tissue. It's in the back part of the eyeball. It's not just a small part. It makes up the good portion of the back part of your eye. Then we have a smaller section of that that's called the macula. Now, maybe you've heard of the macula uh, as in macular degeneration as you get older, but the macula is a small section of retinal tissue, and macula comes from the Latin word which means spot, and lutea means yellow, so it's like a yellow spot because uh, you have carotenoids in that area, which are, it's kind of like a pigment that is photosensitive, so it, uh, it responds to light. Now, the retina is like um, film in your camera. There's a lot of different receptors. It picks up information, and it sends it into the brain via the optic nerve, which, by the way, has like 1.7 million nerves that are traveling through that optic nerve, which carries a crazy amount of information into your brain. And so the retina has different um, cells. Um, they're called rods, cones, and then you have other cells too, which I'm not going to get into, that relay information to the internal clock, which is called that suprachiasmatic nucleus. That is your internal clock. And um, that clock is regulated by light and darkness via your eyeball. And so you have rods and cones. The rods help you see in kind of dim light. Uh, and also they're responsible for the peripheral vision versus the cones are more central vision and um, they respond in light and allow you to see finer details. And the retina uh, has like 10 different layers of things going on. So it's, it's, it's a super highly complex tissue. So the most important nutrient for the retina is something called DHA. Okay, that's an omega-3 fatty acid. Now there's also EPA uh, as a part of that, but I'm gonna focus more on the DHA. So DHA is a uh, fat, it's an omega-3 fat, that is in pretty much all your cells. It's uh, in the membranes. It helps make the membranes fluid, and it has many different functions. It's an anti-inflammatory, but it only makes up between 1% and 5% of your cell membranes. Whereas the retina, it makes up uh, between 50 and 60%. It also allows you to regenerate uh, certain pigments in your eye to allow you to convert uh, information into your brain. Its main job is to help the retina respond to light. It's also very protective against macular degeneration. It's anti-inflammatory and inhibits um, a negative or pathogenic form of angiogenesis, which is the formation of new blood vessels, because you don't want an overgrowth of extra blood vessels that are going to affect your vision. But DHA is also destroyed by blue light, okay, and UV light, and also omega-6 fatty acids, like all those seed oils and the majority of our foods, also uh, compete for omega-3 DHA, so that can also inhibit this. So DHA is very, very, very important for the eye, right? It's probably the most important nutrient. But there's a couple other things in the retina, especially the macula part of the retina, that also protect the eye against UV radiation, as well as blue light. And these are called carotenoids. And there's three very specific ones, lutein, zeaxanthin, and another thing called mesozeaxanthin. And so the two most important nutrients in the eye are DHA and these carotenoids. Now, the question is, what kind of foods make up these important nutrients? You're going to find the best source in oily, cold water fish, as in tuna, like especially bluefin. Bluefin has like five times the amount of uh, DHA than other types of tuna. But you also have salmon, herring, cod liver, cod liver oil, oysters, sardines, and grass-fed beef. Now, of course, there's also DHA in egg yolks and a lot more in the pasture-raised uh, organic eggs. Now, there's also precursors to this DHA that turn into DHA, a very small amount, but they still are precursors. Uh, it's called ALA, and you would find these in walnuts, chia seed, and flaxseed. So those are the foods primarily for DHA. Now, what about these carotenoids? You can get them in dark, leafy green vegetable, like kale, 
and salads, etc. But they're also present in egg yolks, just as DHA is present in egg yolks. And you can find these carotenoids in grass-fed beef. I participated in um, a study that evaluated grass-fed beef versus grain-fed beef. And um, apparently my cows had three times the amount of phytonutrients than other farms in the United States, probably because of the mixture of plants that my cows can eat. They don't just eat a specific type of grass. There's all sorts of weeds that they eat. So I've talked about that in a different video, which I'll list down below. But a certain uh, zeaxanthin is called mesozeaxanthin is also found in shrimp, fish, and of course, those egg yolks. So out of all the foods that you can eat, those foods that I just mentioned, they're going to be the best for protecting the eyes. And of course, it's also important to mention the opposing um, part of this, which is avoiding um, omega-6 fatty acids, which is really difficult because it's in all of our foods, as well as high levels of sugar, which destroy the eyes and create all the oxidation and the free radical damage that increases the need for the carotenoids and DHA. And for more information on that topic, you should probably watch this video right here.